What's up, YouTube? Right, I've got another cool little NU battle for you guys tonight. Um, this one was a really, really long battle. It was, um, let me have a look. It was, it was 42 turns, so uh, I wanted to get this one up, and um, it was a good uh, mix of pokes as well. Uh, firstly, uh, quickly, uh, thanks for all the Pokemon suggestions you've left in my latest videos and stuff. been looking through them, actually picked a couple out. Now, uh, the question uh, for today is, what is your favourite Pokemon? I want to hear what your favourite Pokemon is. Uh, mine's pretty obvious, but... Um, Oh, I got I got a couple of favorite ones, but anyway, if you have a favorite Pokemon you like and you've always liked to use or just like the look of or anything like that, leave a comment below. I want to see which which one is the most popular Pokemon. Anyway, let's get to this battle. Um, so this one was up against Cameron. Uh, let's see what he's got. Um, Mixer Poke. So he's got my first sort of worry there was Sort because I could. That's it's such it's such a strong Pokemon for NU. Um, I'm not even sure how it is still there, but anyway, um, it is a very strong poke. I have to look out for that one. Uh, we've got Raticate, um, Armaldo, Ampharos, uh, Shift Tree, and Lapard. I know that thing's a real pain. So we've got some cool pokes there. So let's actually get to the battle. Um, okay, I'm just going to grab a drink of water. Excuse me, I've got a dry throat. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting with um, my Perugly as my start starter. I can sort of swap it around, but I... Um, I sort of thought that would probably be the best option to do here. So out comes Sork. I was like, I hope it doesn't have a rare inner focus as I'm going to scream, which it doesn't. So I was like, phew. Um, it goes for Brick Break. I was surprised because I normally see close combat. It does the job anyway, getting me down to my sash. So that's all right, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go for Return here and do as much damage as I could. I thought I'd definitely get a kill there with Return with close combat, even if it did. So that definitely tells me um, that it is Scarfed. Um, so now, it, I know it's locked into Brick Break, so I'm just going to go into Tangler and take the hit. Um, obviously, I'm going to take that very, very well. Um, for some reason, he goes for Brick Break again, which was sort of odd. Um, I'm going for Knock Off. It doesn't actually kill, but I, I sort of thought he'd change his, um, his pokes around. Um, so I'm going to swap out my uh, Tangler there, because I just want to get the Regenerator hit. And I'm going to go into... Um, my little bat here now. Unfortunately, I get hit by Low Sweep there. Um, it's sort of an interesting move. I haven't seen, seen that much on a hawk, um, a, a hawk, a sork before. Uh, he's going to outspeed me because of that big speed drop. I just, I sort of just, I derped out there. I didn't think I'd lose that much speed. I, considering I'm still a real fast poke and he's lost his choice scarf, but um, I wasn't too worried about that. Really, I guess it was a bit of an average start, but I got sorked down to low health, so I was sort of happy about that one. Uh, in comes on Molo. That thing's just going to take lots of hits and stuff, so there's not a lot of point in me staying in um, against this guy at all. Um, I, was, I wasn't really sure if it was going to be a stealth rocker or a, a like a rock polish set or like a just a bulky max health um, sort of max attack thing. So I'd go for taunt anyway just to see and he's going to go for X scissor and take my progly out. So it was a bit of, I wasn't too sure then but I didn't really want stealth rocks on the field. Um, I don't really like those any of those traps on the field, they're not really fun to have. So I didn't mind uh, sacrificing that there. So uh, I'm going to go into my Seeking. It was a good opportunity to do this because I thought I could get a free switch here. Um, him throwing like a water move. And out comes Ampharos. Now straight away thinking, ah, I bet this person doesn't actually know what um, Seeking's uh, special ability is. Or not special ability, or Dream World ability. Um, what is this, Yugo? <laughs> anyway, so I outspeed it um, regardless and I'm going to go for Waterfall. I didn't really want to risk if it did have another move, or was going to use a different move than like an electric move, so I just straight away killed it, because uh, it could be quite bulky and stuff. Um, so out comes Sork. Um, I didn't really want to take uh, a Brick Break or anything like that, so I had my Tangler, and a new Tangler could really tank any of these this guy's hits um, fairly well, except for like maybe a rep, like a Poison Jab or something like that, that wouldn't be too good, so I could get Poison. Uh, Earthquake's going to do monkeys to me. I thought that he might swap out here, because um, there's not a lot of point him actually even staying in. So I just went for knockoff to get some um, an item knocked off. That's really what you do. And um, I'm going to knock off Lipard's uh, item here, being the Life Orb. So that was an interesting one. It's more of a physical attacking set. Um, fake Out's going to do nothing. I'm not even really scared of this thing at all, because it's not can't do any damage to me whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to set up my Leech Seed, try and force a switch here so I can maybe knock off another item. Um, that'd be really cool if I could do that. Because um, I can, I can play with this thing really all day. It doesn't scare me at all. Um, it can it, even if it's got swagger and foul play. I don't really mind too much. Uh, so it's going to go for your turn. That hits me pretty hard there. Um, 
with the super effective, but it was a crit though, so that sort of was why. Then again, I can easily swap out and um, get regenerated back on it. So income shift tree, I sort of know that a, um, a, a probably a, a dark pulse or a, maybe a nasty plot is going to be a muscle band. That was interesting. Um, so I'm going to swap out there just for regenerator anyway. Um, I'm going to go into Romatist to tank whatever attack it's going to use. Um, it's going to use Fake Out, which is interesting. I guess that's not too bad if they've got a little smidgen of health left. And um, I mean, sort of make it a somewhat mixed attacker, but not really, only on the first turn. Uh, Energy Ball is not going to do a hell of a lot to me. I'm sort of more specially, definitely more specially uh, base than um, uh, defensive. So I can sort of eat those hits up really good. So here, there wasn't a lot I could, he could do. Unless he had Nasty Plot, I wasn't really worried about this thing at all. Um, even then, he'd still have to set the Nasty Plot up, and I can do probably do a lot of stalling to him. Uh, so he's going to hit me again with nas uh, Nasty Ball, <laughs> um, Energy Ball, and I'm going to set, uh, um, set my Wish up, and just um, uh, I'm just going to sit on this and eat, eat my health, really. There's uh, not a lot I really want to swap into this, um, this guy. And just going to sort of let Toxic Damage rack up as well. Um, that's sort of my thing. But um, clearly he can't do anything to me, so he sort of has to swap out. Now, out comes Raticate. Now, I wasn't sure whether it was going to be like a Hustle or a Gut Set or... Um, I, I, like, I wasn't, as I said, I wasn't really sure, but I didn't really want to stay in um, for like a Facade or something. So I was sort of thinking maybe he'd go for Protect to get uh, his item up and I can get in Tangler straight away. But he's going to go for a Super Fang instead, so that's not very good news for my Tangler because that does a lot more than to, like Raticate would ever do to me with a Facade anyway. Uh, two Super Fangs gets me on a very, very low amount of health. I just go straight away for the Giga Drain. I can't really play games here. I have to get some health back. Um, even with a regenerate, I'll still be on quite a low amount of health. So I'm going to swap out there. I'm thinking he may go again for Super Fang. Um, but he's going to go straight away there for the Double Edge, and that's really going to hurt my Flareon and take lots of health off it. Um, so I thought I could do all right here, get rid of it. Uh, but it had Sucker Punch, and that's going to take me out with a Crit, which sucks. Um, I think that could have mattered because of the low... Um, a stab, but I, I don't really know. It would have been very close anyway. Um, so I'm going to go straight into Seeking here. It's going to go for Super Fang again because that's probably the most damaging move that I've got. I just wanted to get rid of this thing because Super Fang is a really annoying move to have and it can like really get past tanks uh, really well and then you can sort of uh, bring in something else to finish the tank off. So I, I was really wanting to get rid of that. So uh, Leapard's left and I know that it would do like a hell of a lot of damage to me. Um, but I, I sort of wanted to keep seeking for a Moldo or something like that. That's I was sort of keeping it back. I knew that it couldn't really do anything to Tangler either. Um, I got rid of the Eradicate with Super Fang, so that wouldn't be doing lots to me. Uh, the best option here for Lipart is just a U-turn out, do as much damage as possible, and swap into something that could actually uh, do a bit to me. I was thinking Shift would probably be the only other poke that could come in uh, safely. And uh, do some damage. But I get the Giga Drain off anyway. As I was happy with that. A little bit more damage on that Shift Ray. Plus the Poison damage. Um, and some more health back to me as well. So that was good. Um, I was happy with that. Like uh, The trick is just keeping Tangler alive. If you can continue to keep Tangler alive. He's very very good. And um, and just make use of his regenerator ability and stuff. And he hasn't got a bad special attack either. So don't be afraid to use Giga Drain as well. Um, so I just protect there for an extra turn of Poison damage. Why the hell not? Um... I was, it was sort of clear that he didn't have Nasty Plot or anything like that, so he would have, you would have done it before, really. Um, so you knew I was going to switch, obviously. I'm not going to stay in for an Energy Ball. Um, doesn't really matter. That's, so that's not doing much to me at all. I can um, I can just stall this thing all day and take hits from it with um, my special tank. So one more Toxic and this thing's going to go down. Um, I think it was sort of going for a crit, critical hit here, um, which is fair enough, I guess. I'm just going to throw Wish off because there's... I guess there's no... I could have protected there, but I'm, I might as well just going to wish off anyway. I might be able to pass as well to my Seeking, I was thinking, because I've got enough health here on my Aromatist, and I would like to pass... I, I may even get a pass here. Um, we'll just see. Okay, um, so that's Shifter out of the way anyway, so that was good. Um, now, out comes Armoldo. Um, I was still a little bit scared of this thing, because I knew that it still packs X Scissor, and that would do a lot of damage to my Tangler. And it'll take a little bit to outstall this uh, this guy. Um, so he's going to go straight away for Earthquake. It's going to do lots of damage to me. So I really definitely need my um, my full health for this. I was thinking it would be doing around half damage to me. Because as I said, I'm more of a, a special defensive 
Oh well, as long as, as long as I can get the toxic off, I was quite um, I was quite confident that I could take it down, and um, I could just do some wishes swaps into Tangler and back and, and stuff. I, I was confident I could do that to get around this guy. Um, as I said, um, I'm just trying to rack up my toxic damage here. This is just a pure uh, a pure stalling special defense wall, really. That's all it is. Um, it's really it's really just massive taunt bait, but. I mean, if they don't have taunt, it's quite good, um, and you just you just play around the Pokemon with taunt, really. Um, so I can easily throw up another wish here because I know I've already judging by the damage that I've taken that I could get another one, unless it was like a critical hit, of course. Uh, so Rock is going to come in trying to flinch me here, so I can't get a wish off, uh, which I do, which is really good because that would not have been uh, good if I got flinched there. Um, a little bit too early in the match, or later on in the match, to lose this thing, and it didn't really take enough damage from Toxic so far. Um, I, like I wasn't 110% sure if Tangler could take X scissors really, really well uh, from this guy. Anyway, um, a critical hit would be really bad as well, so I have to try and get as much Toxic damage up on this guy as possible. Uh, so he's going to continue to go for Rock Slide, getting trying to get like a, a flinch against me, which is fair enough, um, since he can't one shot me. It's probably the best sort of option to go for. Um, so what I was thinking here is I might go into Tangler, then like I might double switch back after like I get another Protect off or something like that, try and rack this damage off. Um, that's sort of my, what my Tangler Aromatist combo does. I avoid the attack there, which is interesting. Um, very, very good there. That was nice. Um, I got a free wish up there. Okay. Um, so him having leftovers sort of made him last for a little bit longer. I think he would have nearly been getting close to dead by now. Um, sorry, someone's actually just opening the door outside. Just don't worry about that. Um, so um, I'm gonna weave, I'm gonna. Sorry, he's gonna withdraw here, and um, he's gonna go back into his sort, which has got a little bit of health left, which is really good because I thought he might actually swap out here so I can get a free wish here on my seeking, um, which is good because I know sort probably wouldn't be able to one shot me. Because um, I'm a bulky seeking, if you can believe that. But, um, yeah. Okay, so he's going to go for Earthquake here and do loads to me with a crit, which sort of sucks. Um, I know that it doesn't have any priority moves at all, and um, so I just throw up the uh, agility there, which is good. Um, so I'm going to finish off with uh, Waterfall, and uh, I'm Life Orb, so I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but I've got my waterfall up and I, um, sorry, my, my, my waterfall up, my agility up, and I'm going to outspeed like loads of things. Now, I knew this thing would have fake out, um, so I didn't really want to say until I sort of, it'd be better if I used it as regenerator, um, just regenerator fodder for uh, Tangler, and um, I was very, very confident that I could get past this thing. Um, this was his last two pokes, he had Le Leapard and uh, a Moldo left. Um, I was very, very confident that I could beat them just with Tangler as well. So uh, Giga Drain does loads. I get all my health back, which is good. Um, so once I got rid of... I sort of got rid of all the, the, the major sort of threats for my team. And Tangler can really just um, wall all these pokes out. And he hit hard with Giga Drain as well. He's really good at that. Um, it's good to have a tank that um, can actually do some damage as well. Because they're not complete setup bait then either. Um, so Giga Drain's going to hit Armordo... And that's going to take it out. So, pretty bit of an interesting swap there. I probably would have kept Leopard in and, and um, just let it go and maybe gone for the career on X Scissor. That was probably the best option there. So, back into Leopard again. Um, it's going to go for Sucker Punch this time. I don't think that's going to do make much of a difference. Uh, so, crit again. And uh, I'm just going to finish off Leopard with Giga Drain. Om nom 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 for Tangela. And that's going to get most of my health back. And uh, that's pretty much game. So, quite a long battle. Um, 40, yeah, 42 turns. So good game, Cameron. And thanks for the battle. And hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this one. But yeah, as I said before, um, leave a comment in the comment section. What is your favourite Pokemon? I want to know. Um, I want to see what's the most popular Pokemon everyone likes. But anyway, anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Peace out.